You were an early investor in GroupMe, which sold to Skype for yep. how much? Uh, about $80 million. Sold to Skype for $80 million. How about much? About eight, 18 months in. 18 months later. Yep. 18 months after your initial investment? 18 months after they started the company. So they sell for $80 million. What was your initial investment in, in uh, GroupMe? $50,000. $50,000. And what was, what was your return? About $650,000. Um, clear success. Let's rewind. You said I, you can never go to that initial moment and, and say, I saw this coming. This was a clear win. You, I've read about this. You remember the day that you were watching a World Cup game and met with the two founders of GroupMe. Tell me that story. So I, I, it, was, it was even weirder than that. I had went to, uh, I had made one investment before GroupMe, and I went to an event uh, where I was pitching my own startup. And the event was find a tech co-founder, because I couldn't find an engineer that wanted to work on a sports startup. There was minimal overlap between deep engineering experience and a desire to help the sports industry. And so I stood on uh, a stage in front of about 70 people and pitched my idea. Um, and the, the other group that was going after me was Birchbox, which has done fantastic uh, afterwards. And they, neither one of us found a tech co-founder at that event, but a, a guy I knew looked at me and said, you do investing too. And I'm like, oh, so you really liked my startup. Th thanks for the, the You like my money. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, you should meet these guys. And he literally tapped these two guys and they turned around. And uh, one was a tall, fat, hippie looking guy. And the other was this like, really young looking, driven, he like looked intense and they were just this sort of mismatch of, of personalities and looks next to each other. Um, and they started talking about a hack that they had made like a week earlier. Um, and I had actually watched uh, at TechCrunch at the hackathon them present, so I sort of had some familiarity with it. Uh, we talked for five minutes and decided to go out the next morning uh, to grab breakfast. And I, I guess later that night we realized that the World Cup game was on during that time, so we found a, a bar that we could watch the game at and, and eat some breakfast. And so uh, during our meeting, it was this back and forth between talking about group me and, and sort of the potential investment and cheering on the US. That was a game that uh, Landon Donovan scored that like crazy overtime goal and it was like the height of, uh, I guess, 2010 U.S. soccer. You remember Landon Donovan's goal, but I, I know you, you've written, you don't remember the actual contents of the conversation that morning, them pitching you on the business, but what you said is you remember the feel, the energy of the conversation. Yeah, I, I think then, and you know, as I look back, that was my, my, it ended up being my third investment. I made one in, in the middle there. Um, 170 later, I think that's what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody that you connect with, that you believe in. And it doesn't need to be somebody you want to be friends with. I think that's the biggest mistake that a lot of investors make, um, is they're looking for somebody they want to hang out with. If you look at the most successful people at, at building companies, they're not people you necessarily want to go to the bar with or, or have at your house for dinner, right? There's, there's some intensity, awkwardness, just sort of different personality that isn't always like, oh, that's my next best friend. But instead, you're looking for just something different. And so with those guys, it was a passion. It was a passion for what they were doing. It was a confidence. It was a little bit of a swagger. But they really were able to articulate not just this cute little thing that they had done, but where this was going. And I think that that's the, you never fund somebody for what they've done. You're funding them for where they're going to go with it.